Hello everybody and welcome aboard this 1999 Sea Line F44 for a look around her interior in detail to give you an idea of her layout, how things look and if she might be a boat you'd like to consider. So as you can see we're looking through the companionway into the main saloon where I'm standing and looking outside into the cockpit you can see there's lots of work going on out there. There's a bit of work still going on, on this boat and the canvas workers are hard at work. We've got a brand new cockpit tent being made and put together and we also have a brand new flybridge cover up top as well so all looking good so uh, we'll show you the cockpits in a different video so uh, once you come through as you can see we've got these really really lovely curved doors here or french windows they open very very nice and easily with one hand no problem at all and once they're closed we've got the outside locked out and as you can see the canvas work has just arrived to finish his work which is great and uh just moving around into the actual saloon itself, you can see I'm just going to open the companionway here and move out a little bit so that we can see the actual interior in full. There we go. So really, really nice, light and open. We do have some blinds closed, but uh, we've still got lots of light and air flooding in. So with the sort of neutral tones, neutral carpet, light wood and uh, very light work surfaces, feels very like a very nice place to be. Looking downwards, you can see really nice and easy to, easy to get to the engines. We've got uh, two Volvos under there. We, we can lift this one and this one for access to the port engine. Then we just need to shuffle this table across, lift these two here for access to the starboard engine room. Really, starboard engine. Really, really nice and easy. And uh, I know for a fact the engineers will thank you for giving them so much room down below because there is lots of room. And the bilge is very clean too, which is always very nice. Now, looking around the, uh, the starboard side of the saloon, you can see we've got a lovely great big U-shaped seating. Loads of room, looks very nice and uh, comfortable and sumptuous, etc. Great for entertaining. We've got a, a, a saloon table in the middle here, which unfolds. We've got two leaves there. Whoops, there we go. Let's uh, put that back on. So a nice big saloon table when we want it. So uh, really, really lots of room in here to enjoy yourselves. As I mentioned, we've got windows all over the place. So uh, to the sides here, as you can see, the blinds are uh, open slightly, but all the windows have blinds on the sides, which is great. We've got uh, 240 around the boat we've got uh, pretty much everything you think you might need lovely headlining here as well uh, some of it's uh, gel coated some of it is uh, uh, faux leatherette here I think but uh, looks nice and easy to clean and does look nice and clean which is fantastic but um, let's move our way forwards a little bit and we'll go along the starboard side and then back along the port side. So just forward of the starboard side of the saloon, we've got a couple of well, three steps up to the helm. So uh, let's go up there. And before we uh, go any further, we'll just uh, pause to look forwards. You can see that we've got a great view through the forward windows there. We've got a great view through the side windows there. And we've got a great view through the companionway as well. So for rule five of the uh, uh, the coal regs uh, should be a good tick there. So we can see everything and uh, watch keep really, really nicely at sea. Anyway, back to the helm. As you can see, a nice helm seat here for uh, two possibly three to squeeze lovely material again matches the saloon as well really really nice and comfortable looking we've got armrests it all looks lovely nice big helm wheel here on the in fact i'll just go up and take a seat let's pretend we're at the helm so we've got uh, within really easy reach we've got the uh the wheel here rudder angle indicator here we've got uh, the autopilot we've got compass we've got depth echo sounder we've got speed there as well down here we've got uh, the uh, the keys we've got uh, the bow thruster stern thruster controls we've got the throttles etc trimming here and uh, above there we've got uh, all of the engine controls that we think you might need we've got uh, a fuel contents indicator we've got engine speeds i think that's engine hours under here and we've got uh, pressures temperatures batteries etc etc so uh, really great for monitoring monitoring your engines and here we've got two big raymarine e80 units right by your left knee so we're uh, really really handy and i just noticed as well we've got something to hang on to here as well all the way around a lovely great big sturdy guardrail and in fact we've got uh, nice uh, handholds uh, in uh, lots of discrete locations just looking down you can see uh, the lovely floor we've got here this uh, goes through the galley and up to the forward cabin as well and is generally a really nice place to be let's have a quick look aft from up here we're perched up really high here actually so a great view down to the saloon there so you can talk to them and you can pass cups of coffee backwards and forwards etc if needed but also because we're high up here we've got a great view down there as well at uh, all the rest of the marina or harbour or wherever you may be absolutely lovely and i just noticed as well down here we've got the stereo nestled in there too very nice and uh, just looking up here above the helm i'll start on the outboard side you can see we've got uh, 
uh, a wind indicator here. We've got an electrics panel, electrics panel, uh, clock and barometer, and this unit up here. I've yet to work out what that is. I think this is a radar up here, but uh, to be confirmed. But uh, all within the helm's reach, and uh, all everything in its place, which is great. So let's move out of the helm and go a little bit lower down into the boat. I've just moved backwards so you can see. So that's the galley down there. We've got a nice unit here for uh, your glasses, your uh, cocktails, etc. As you can see, again, the galley, nice neutral tones. We've got a nice uh, work surface along here. We've got a, 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 a two burner stove here and a nice, easy companion way to go down. So let's pop down there. And I'll just turn round, and uh, what is really nice on this boat, actually, very nice, quick access to look at the engines through there. So if you're looking at your engines, at least hourly at sea, which I always recommend, you can uh, get a good look down there really nice and easily without disturbing the rest of the boat. And as you can see, really lovely, clean, dry bills down there, which is absolutely lovely. Coming uh, forwards along the inboard side of the galley we've got the electrics panel here we've got uh, all sorts of bits and pieces we've got voltage meters we've got all the bits and pieces you'd expect uh, looks like a uh, holding tank content switches etc etc and uh, if i just undo this here i really like this there's no real need to do this but uh, you can see where they put a nice little shelf here so that's going to give you added space for your chopping etc see so if i can get off the top with one hand yes i can so that clean closures neatly out of the way there we go absolutely lovely and then uh, let's uh, look downwards you can see we've got uh, uh, a build cut out or, or a hatch here nice big stowage beneath there and underneath the floor here we've got uh, access to the bilge so we can see the contents or hopefully no contents down there as well very nice lobby area, nice floor, plenty of room here. The head heights are absolutely massive here, obviously, because we're quite low down in the boat, and the headline throughout this area here is very, very nice too. Very light, bright and airy. So let's carry on our tour. We'll go to the starboard side and open the first door we come to, and that brings us to the aft cabin. So as you can see, this boat is in storage mode at the moment, so everything isn't as you would normally see it. So we've got a, a bed made up on the outboard side and uh, all sorts of cushions and carpets rolled up on the inside here. But uh, as you can can see we'd have two really nice size single beds here we've got a, a nice uh, unit in the middle to put your books and cups of tea etc in um all very very good looking up i can see that uh, we have a hatch here which is hinged uh that's screwed close so i'd suggest that that's where we access the uh the main helm controls wiring electrics etc below that at the bottom of the molding towards where the helm's feet are going to be we've got uh, nice drawers here three big drawers for uh all very nice and easy to open for your bits and pieces clothes weekend clothing etc we have uh, two windows down here so lots of light coming in it feels nice and light in here even though that blinds down which is great and if i just sit down and look towards the back of the uh compartment you can see we've got a very nice padded uh looks a little bit like suede around the outside there very nice indeed and uh, as we go up you can see beneath the helm seat there's a bit of an upcut there so i expect it's probably okay to lie in there and read your books if wanted no problem so uh, just coming forward you can see we've got a nice uh, hanging locker here we've got a drawer underneath here as well so a bit more room for your bits and pieces and then uh, I won't take you through here, this door, but uh, there is a Jack and Jill access. So if you want to go to the loo here in the middle of the night and you don't want everybody else to know or you don't want to disturb anybody else, you can do. That's your access from this cabin. And if I just exit the cabin very carefully, there we go. Close the door and open this door. This is the other Jack and Jill door to the toilet so, or the head, sorry. So uh, that's the doorway we just came through. So if you want to use the head without... Um, disturbing the occupants of the aft cabin you can do so we just come in here and uh, lock that door and you're in no problem and as you can see we've got a nice compartment with uh, a window that opens nice sink in the corner with storage underneath and we've got a toilet here with a cover on it as well so if you want to sit and have a shower then that should be fine and there's the shower unit up there nice radius corner so nice and easy to clean so uh, a good compartment all in all brilliant so let's close the door to that and we'll look at uh, one of the pièces de résistance of this cabin. There you can, you can see, uh, oh, there we go. Hi, there's Tim. Nice to meet you. Um, if we look at the uh, forward cabin, you can see we've got a lovely big island bed here. This is the kind of thing I aspire to, I guess, or the kind of thing most people aspire to. Lovely big island bed. We have some storage underneath it. We have access to the build under here. And uh, looking on the starboard side, you can see we've got uh, opening windows, port and starboard. We've got cupboard. We've got uh, cupboard, stroke vanity unit, more of a storage area, really. Uh, we've got a nice hanging locker in here with a shelf. Very nice. And as you can see, we've got a step up 
to the side of the bed here so no crawling over anybody else to get in there and no need to crawl over this way to get into bed so really lovely the port side is a pretty much a mirror image of the starboard side again we've got uh, the cupboard we've got uh, uh, nice uh, storage units here cupboard down here too in fact, they are very slightly different, but that's because of the heads compartment, but uh, all good. And uh, then if we open this compartment here, we've got uh, our shower compartment, or uh, sorry, our other heads compartment with the shower in it. And uh, this is the, the, the master ensuite head, basically. Uh, looking on the right-hand side here, you can see we've got a nice sink unit here. We've got a nice toilet with a cover on it as well. Plenty of workspace, storage above, hello again, and... Uh, uh, sorry, storage not above there. We've got storage on the outboard side there by the looks of it, although I can't get in with one arm. And uh, if you just crawl in, there we go. You can see we've got a nice separate shower unit with a little perch bench there as well. So if we're clappering along at 30 knots and you're down here having a shower, you can perch yourself on the edge there. Nice window inset there to let uh, condensation out, etc. But all in all, does what it says on the tin is a nice compartment. So yes, that is uh, storage on the uh, on the after bulkhead there. Very good. Right then, let's exit from that compartment and we'll close the door and we'll go in an aft direction through the galley again and I'll just point out the various bits and pieces down here. Now, doesn't it look really, really nice? I love this, it's nice and light. This is nice and light and something great to hold on to as well. We've got big cupboards underneath. We've got a big fridge nestling under here. And looking up, you can see we've got the uh, three burner, as mentioned, I think previously I said two burner, we've got three burners here. We've got a microwave, we've got storage, We've got a proper cooker and uh, generally speaking we've got lots and lots of room if i just step back and look so people can transit past you whilst you're cooking without actually disturbing you which i really really like all too often we see these passage wa passageways where the chef's standing here somebody needs to shuffle past and it can be quite dangerous so uh, very very good indeed now carrying on in an afterly direction just looking up we can see we've got two opening portholes there great for letting cooking fumes out and uh back into the saloon you can see again the windows where we've got uh, blinds we've got open uh, win an open window there sorry window opener there and just uh, looking up again you can see all a nice headlining we've got very thoughtfully placed uh, handrail here as well actually so when you come in through the companion way you can lurch this way if you need to grab hold of that and make your way forwards until we can then transfer to this handhold here to go down to the galley really really like and i've just noticed that on the uh, port side of the saloon we've got a two-seater sofa here again looks like very very nice upholstery feels nice and sumptuous and that leads back to a small tv cabinet so we've got a tv nestling inside there and a few other bits and pieces and underneath here we've got a nice fridge unit for use in the saloon all very very good so this has been tim from Berkshire drop brokers is taking you for a tour of the inside of this 1999 sea line f44 if you'd like any more information just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality thanks for watching take care and we hope to see you soon take care bye